Hi, welcome to Lighthawk. Um, I'm going to talk about a few little things that you may have uh, come up with your, either this is a Lighthawk bullet, but the boost also, it's the same chassis, so the same type of things can happen, whether it's the buggy or the truck. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, my wheel fell off and why did that happen and uh, how to kind of fix that or, or not have to worry about that again. So first off, I've got a boost uh, wheel and tire. I'm just going to use that as a bit of a car stand. You'll notice if you've had any issues with wheels falling off, it's usually the left side of the vehicle. The reason for that is, I'm just going to show you here when I tur turn this. Uh, the, when the wheel is turning forward, uh, this nut to, to unscrew can unscrew, okay, as it's going forward. The r real cause of it usually is if the car is jumping up in the air, what happens is the RPM or the, the speed that the wheel and tire is traveling, uh, speeds up the tire balloons uh, and then when it comes back down uh, it's it's a hard hard uh, hard landing and of course the wheel is spinning so quickly it absorbs it and it can cause uh, the nut to loosen and over time it'll actually it could fall off um, we didn't have a lot of these issues in testing um, so I'm just going to show you here there's a little nut here okay and this nut that you see here uh, has nylock or, uh, in the end and the idea of that is to stop the nut from coming off the axle. Uh, but what's happening in this case is the nylock either is, is not enough or not strong enough to hold the wheel in place. So I'm just going to take the wheel off. In testing we have noticed that uh, this wheel if it does come off you're going to see there's a little hex here. I'm going to spin the opposite side just so you can see that spin and that hex has a little pin inside and that's what gives you your forward drive. On the back side of the wheel here, you'll notice that there's a hex here as well. So if you, for example, have the wheel fall off and you bring the vehicle back and there is no hex here, this has been removed, most likely you're also missing, in my case, you are missing the pin. So the pin is gone. All right, so I'm going to show you the parts you're going to need. Number one, you've got your wheel nut. There's your little silver pin. And we also have our hex adapter. All right, so just before we get started, of course, we have our pin our wheel hex and our nut and our wheel, but where's the pin going? You'll notice on your axle it's out here, there's a little pin, there's a little hole in the axle and that's where the pin is going to slide in. Um, it's best to turn the opposing wheel, you don't want to have the pin vertically because of course gravity won't be your friend. So you want to have it uh, horizontal when the pin goes in, it stops the pin from moving before you can put on the, the, uh, the plastic black hex wheel adapter. This is the proper order where we're going to repair this. We're going to take our little pin. Um, now me doing this here is going to be a little more tricky because I want to make sure you guys can see it. So the pin just slides in the hole. Now you don't want to obviously put it all the way through. And if you find it on a bit of an angle, because we don't want it to drop out, you want to put that, just turn the opposite uh, tire. It's good to have the, the, the buggy or truck lifted. Then we're going to put our hex on, and the hex is keyed. And we're going to push that on until it's over the pin. Now when you're done, the hex should be pretty much flush with uh, the area here. If it's not, um, then you didn't get the, the uh, pin on the hex correctly. Now, we know that it fell off, and we know the reason why, because uh, the nut is spinning off and it's being driven. So one of the things you can do, and it's really inexpensive, you may have some at home. This is some actually, uh, this is some uh, Loctite. Um, thread locker. There's two different kinds. There's a red, which is by this brand, which is permanent, uh, and then there's the medium force, which is blue. Um, either one is going to help. In this case here, um, I don't want to lose that again, so I'm going to use the red. Um, so before we slide the uh, the tire on, we're just going to put a little drop on it. Okay, you don't have to have a ton. What's going to happen is, and why how this works. And they use this in all types of applications from airplanes to race cars, uh, you name it actually. So when we put this on, we're going to put this on the hex and then uh, your kit supplied uh, wheel wrench. You would use uh, this side here, okay, you got it in like that. And then we're just going to hold and we're going to uh, tighten this on. And we're going to tighten it right up to the point where it's nice and snug. Okay, and uh, just let it, you know you don't have to let it dry for a huge amount of time. 
and you'll be back on that that thread lock there is going to keep that wheel nut from spinning off and you, uh, keep you running for a long long time it is a good idea though um, just to check you don't have to make these super tight um, but you just want to check and make sure uh, that they are they are snug after every run um, the wheel nut size is a 5.5 millimeter hex so if you've got any uh, tools at home uh, you can always use that as well you don't have to use the uh, the supplied one keep in mind if you're using a ratchet style um, it is very easy to over torque them but uh, that's a nice little easy fix and uh, will keep you up and running for a long long time if you want to check out some other helpful tips just uh, click on to the product you have uh, on the lighthawk website and and uh, enjoy